How's this for one morning? Um, while we wait for the lions to move out of the boggiest area, as Taylor said, we've had Tingana, and now we have the two cubs not far away from him at all. Now, I'm just waiting to hear from Taylor which direction he's going in. He's not a threat to them. He, they've been seen with Tingana before. He is most likely the father of these cubs. Sorry, just listening to Taylor's update. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's not as close as I originally thought. Careful, mister. You two stay right where you are. Don't you be coming down here. There's lionesses about, and they're not far from where you are. So you just sit nice and tight up in your tree and make sure that you don't get caught by surprise. So the lions... To give you an idea or a sense of scale of where everything is, the lions are about 300 meters, 300 yards away from these leopard cubs. Tingana is about 700 yards in the opposite direction. So they're between Tingana and the lions. They're looking happy though. Content waiting for mom to return to them. Pretty much where we lost them yesterday little bit further into the block. Now there's gorgeous Hosanna. Looking somewhat sleepy and droopy-eyed. But watching the pair of giraffe that the lions chased earlier. I can't see them anymore, but that's what he's looking at. That's what's got his attention. I'm sorry, you might have to grow a little bit before you're ready to catch a giraffe, Hosanna. In fact, that's probably, in fact, definitely outside of your capabilities. Maybe start with something smaller. Although we've seen Hosanna stalk elephants before. It's all the natural part of the learning process. Practicing their skills, even though they don't intend to hunt it. I've seen, I saw Sindile when he was about just a little bit younger than this, stalking a buffalo. Which would definitely have been a little bit of an ask for a young male leopard. Even a, a leopard of Tingana's size would not be able to take out a adult giraffe. And feeder point, I think. You want to know where the cubs sleep. <coughs> Wherever they happen to find themselves. Feeder point. You want um, the, the leopard cubs will sleep wherever they find a resting point. A comfortable marula tree like this one is a good spot, as good a spot as any. But that doesn't mean that they won't sleep on the ground as well. Leopards often sleep on the ground. However, at the moment, it's so humid and misty that they are usually found sleeping in trees because <laughs> the grass is damp. They don't really want to go and lie in a damp bed. But they'll pretty much sleep wherever they find themselves. And that might make them seem quite vulnerable, but they're constantly listening, constantly hearing the things around them. The only time I've ever seen another predator get close to a sleeping leopard was with Shadow and that hyena, where the hyena nearly stepped on her before she realized what was going on. Shadow, of course, being the older sister of these leopard cubs. Their oldest sister, actually. How spoiled have we been? Lions chasing everything across quarantine. Leopards everywhere. It seems as though it's just one of those mornings where the bush is teeming with cat life. Rex, Rex. Sorry, everybody. Just want to check that they got managed to get out of the bog because I sympathize. I know exactly what that feels like. We've all done it. <laughs> Hello, boy. That's such a cute face peering out down at us. Now, Justine, welcome to our sunrise safari. Justine, 
while little Shungile stands up and gives us a good perspective of the sort of difference between herself and her brother, you want to know in comparison what is the size difference between a female leopard and a female lion. It is a massive difference. So a lioness is probably three to four times the size of a leopard. If it's a small leopard, four times the size of her. So Karula is probably around, we guess, we don't know for exactly, but we guess at around 40 kilograms, so over 80 pounds. The lionesses that we just saw hunting are at least, I would say, 120 kilograms, so 200, over 240 pounds of massive cat. So there's a mammoth size difference between the two of them. And even Tingana, who is a relatively large male leopard, he is still nowhere near the bulk and size of a lioness. And we actually, Dave and myself, actually had a really good perspective on that when one of the, the youngest lionesses chased Tingana up a marula tree. And it gave us quite a good idea of just how much larger lionesses are. So a leopard will never, ever pick a fight with an adult lion. It would be foolish in the extreme.